there are people in this world that cannot hold a light to you. They can't. They cannot hold a light to you. They can form an opinion about you. They can judge you. They can talk about you. But they know, they know deep down in their soul, they cannot hold a light to you. They know that you will call them out. They know that you will pull their card. They know that you can see through them better than they can see through themselves because you have favor all over you. You have asked for wisdom and discernment and you can see that person's ill intentions coming forward without even having to speak on it. You can see it and they know that and it scares them. They're not going to say it. We already know they're not going to say it, but you scare them. When you walk into the room, when you're present, when you're near, when you're even in the radius of them, they know they're looking for you because they know for a fact that you can pull their card. They know it. And you don't even have to ask for them to validate that card. You already know it because the validation comes with you staying your distance and reading that person before they get a chance to even try to prejudge you because you've already you've already placed them. And that's the best kind of piece is placing somebody based off of their actions. Actions speak way louder than words. Show me who you are the first time and I got you. I got you. But they know they can't hold a light to you. You are so bright to them. It, it just it just makes them squeamish. It makes them like, ugh, I can't stand that person. Ugh, I don't like that person. Ugh, I got to get somebody else to not like this person. It makes them squeamish. It does. And that just shows that you're irritating what needs to get out of them, what they need to get delivered from. You irritate that. You irritate them just all by just being who you are. But that's okay. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to do. 